gone. Do you hear me? Venito or whatever that girl said, I'm bringing it on. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jermaine. If you're new here and if you're returning, what's up? Okay, so listen. I want to start this video off by saying thank you. Thank you guys so much for whoever clicked on this video, but for the ones that follow me and watch every single video or the majority of the videos, or even if you just watch my vlogs or maybe just like stuff like this, I just wanna say thank you. It means so much. You guys don't understand the growth. I'm gonna talk about it in another video today. So if you see me looking like this in another video, just Okay, if you don't know by the title, this is gonna be another lifestyle haul video. I don't like to say like, Amazon must-haves or Target must-haves or whatever, whatever, TikTok finds, because number one, I, me and TikTok, I think we broke up for good this time, I don't know. But I've gotten these things from all different kind of places and I just kind of like to do a collective lifestyle haul. Without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and get into kitchen stuff first because I gotta go put this stuff back in the refrigerator. I wanna start with my glasses. This is a champagne glass. Don't mind my nails, I just popped them all off. Okay, I was trying to keep it cute, but I just, I couldn't. I did um, change out all the glasses in my apartment. I also got the wine glasses to match. Here we go. I got all of these things from TJ Maxx and Marshalls. Nothing was more than $20, and it all came in sets of four, except for the champagne. I think the champagne glasses came in two. And then I also got these just drinking glasses, a short one and a tall one. I got these from, I want to say Marshalls as well and their Tony Tommy Bahama brand or something like that but I did want them to match the aesthetic of the wine glasses these came in a four pack these came in a four pack I want to say the most I spent on one box was maybe $14.99 like and I have clunked these in the dishwasher you put them in the dishwasher I have clunked them in the dishwasher they've fallen over in the dishwasher they haven't broken knock on wood you know what I'm saying but I love them, they're so durable, they're easy to clean. They don't scratch when you clean them with like a, a um, scrubby pad, because sometimes I do wear lipstick and stuff like that, and I really do need to get off. I'm so happy with this purchase. If you watch my vlogs, then you know I had an issue with, I wanted, originally I wanted square glasses. Y'all, the square glasses came like this big. Like, what even is that? What? What is that? Am I a child? Is this Fisher Price? Like, what's happening? Oh my God, this Chobani creamer. It is a coconut mocha creamer. It is plant-based, so if that's something that you are interested in, oh, I highly recommend. And this is coming from a person that does not like coconut flavored things. I will do like coconut lotion, coconut scents, but like coconut flavored stuff or coconut in general, shavings, anything like that, I am not a fan of this. It's so good. It is limited edition, so if you do happen to see it, you might wanna grab it if you do wanna try it, because I don't know how long it's gonna be out. I believe I got it from Target, maybe Walmart. Definitely give it a try. I thought I would have to need to put in the French vanilla as well because this is a lip, it's mocha, it's coconut mocha, so it is chocolatey. So I was like, oh man, maybe I'm gonna have to add the vanilla to kind of balance out. Girl, it was so good. And my coffee was good. I haven't tried it in my tea. I was gonna try it, or excuse me, not my tea. In my hot chocolate, I wanted to try it in my hot chocolate. I haven't done that yet, but when I do, it will be in a vlog and I will let you know, okay? Next up, if you follow my vlogs, you already know how I feel about this brand, how I feel about this specific beverage. Baby, it is the Poppy Cherry Limeade. Oh, can we just take a moment for the girl? best flavor that they have number one the company i've only kind of had a little bit of banter with them on instagram and twitter hilarious okay they're just so much fun they're so colorful they're so bright they're all about your gut health they have so many different flavors however cherry limeade is my favorite i've tried ginger lime i've tried orange i've tried raspberry rose there's watermelon um classic cola root beer oh gosh i feel like i'm great 
I'm not trying that. I already know how I feel about grapes, so it's, sorry, it's just not gonna happen now. If somebody was near me and they had it, I may take a little sippy sip, but I'm not buying it. <laughs> so I just know I don't like grape flavored things. I highly, highly recommend you try it. It is just such a good substitute for soda, especially on the plane. I'm a flight attendant and there's just so much soda in front of me all the time. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my God. God, I'm craving sodas. I would make sure I bring a cherry limeade poppy with me, and when I get that soda craving, girl, I just pop it open, and I'd be like, ooh, and then my coworkers be like, ooh, what's that? I'd be like, oh, none of your business, but let me tell you, girl, it's the cherry limeade poppy, and it's good for your gut. It's not gonna mess up your skin. You know what I'm saying? Is there sugar in it? There's probably some sugars. Five grams of sugar. Only five grams compared to like regular soda. That's amazing. Seven carbs, 25 calories. Come on if you're interested in counting calories and stuff like that. I'm telling you, cherry limeade is the best. The only thing I will say, don't put it on ice because it gets watery fast, okay? And drink it ice cold if you can, like straight out the refrigerator. It is just so refreshing. I cannot tell you enough. Like I love it. And Poppy, if you're watching, sponsor the girl, you know what I'm saying? Cause I'm clearing shelves left and right. Every time I go and I see it, I'm like, I need six. And maybe I'll leave two, depending on the day. Next up, is this pho broth. Y'all know, if you watch my vlogs, you know I'm a pho girl. I love this pho broth. There's a Good and Gather one by Target that I will use as well, but I get this from Whole Foods. It is the brand Ocean's Halo. So good, so, so good. And then the Good and Gather, like I said, that brand is also very good, the Target brand. Flavorful, not too salty. Okay, and then you add all your extra stuff to it and it's just, it's so easy to make and I'm so glad because if you know what pho really takes to make the broth, like it, it takes a while and there's a lot of like bones stuff, and I just don't have time. For, who has time to be boiling bones? I don't. Or like fish or whatever, girl, whatever it is. I know it takes a lot and <laughs> I'm just not doing it. I'm not even home for 24 hours at the time, most of the time. So. This is a great substitute, it's quick, it's easy, get you some vermicelli noodles, get you some sesame oil, get you some hoisin sauce, some fish sauce. What else do I put in there? The chili pepper, whatever, whatever, girl. Can't go wrong. Okay, let me put this stuff back in the refrigerator and I'll come right back to you guys. Blonde Rose Coffee. I had my little comments about Blonde Rose from the people that drink it, but you know what? It's actually really freaking good. <laughs> It's so good. One of my flight attendant Twitter girlies was like, you just probably like the taste of burnt coffee beans. I said, oh. and you're probably right. Like, and I was like, you know what? Let me stop hating on Blonde Rose. Cause like, okay, maybe it's because I had, is Blonde Rose and Light Rose the same thing? Because I feel like I had Light Rose before and it just tasted like pure tinted water. And I was like, what, this is not coffee. I don't, there's nothing like, I didn't feel caffeinated, I'm yawning. I'm like, what is this? So I don't know if blonde roast and light roast are the same thing, but if it is, hmm. But this one is actually really good and it does still taste like coffee and I have been humbled. Okay, the next two themes, I, I feel like I may have already talked about, but just in case I have it, talk about them again. Ollie Sleep and Stress Gummies. Oh. Yeah. Ollie has different kind of stuff. They have the women's multi. They have stuff for, I believe, like your vaginal health. They have all kinds of stuff. I think they have men's multi. They have all kind of hair, skin, and nail gummies. I'm a child, so I need gummy vitamins, okay? I don't like the big horse pills. I get so tired of those things. So I got the stress gummies because lately I have been very stressed out, especially with summer flying. It's just been so hard on my body, so challenging mentally and I just sometimes I just pop these on the plane and I just be like oh, okay and I don't know if it's just like a psychological thing I don't know but I do feel a lot calmer and I don't feel groggy there is no after effects to them so if you did want to give these a try I highly recommend that you do so 42 of these in this container find these at Target you can find these uh, online you can find them everywhere like if you don't know about Ollie like what are you doing but, and then the sleep gummies y'all these were my saving grace when I was working that Las Vegas trip. So we did three legs to Vegas the first day, exhausting. 20 hours in Vegas, which was exhausting because we got in at midnight and then we had to leave, I think 10 p.m. that day, like technically that day, which was kind of like, how? Like, Anyway, or we would land like 11 p.m. or like 11.45, something like that. And then we would go from Las Vegas to Cincinnati, 
land at 5.30 and then have to work that same flight 6 p.m. the same day. So I was having to force myself into this weird sleep cycle and you have to force kind of have to force two sleep cycles on that 20 hour layover which does not work because you get in and for me personally I can only speak for me I'm wired it doesn't matter how much I yawn on the plane how much I yawn on my way home once I get home and I strip my clothes at the door because y'all know how I feel about the little airplane germs chat I just I strip at the door, put my clothes directly in the washing machine. I'm wide awake. Like, I am so mentally wound up. I just, I still, I don't know, I guess my body is still in like anxiety mode. And I just, I'm just like, oh, these helped so much. What I will say is, if you're just wanting to take a nap, like a three hour nap, I would not take these because I do wake up a little bit groggy if I'm not uh, planning to get like a full six, seven, eight hours of sleep. So, that's just the way they work for me and the side effects for me but it's not like a drowsy like uh, it's just a little groggy feeling like oh i want to go back to sleep like my body wasn't done yet he's definitely helped when we landed on that red eye i would actually pop it before i even got in the van so by the time i got to the hotel which is about 25 minutes i was nice and relaxed i sleep like an angel i love these things i loved them 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 <laughs> I think I'm gonna move into like home and cleaning products real quick. I have a couple, I have four. Um, so first things first, oh baby. Lifesaver, game changer. Whoever's grandma this is, do you want an extra grandchild? I'm just asking for a friend. This has helped my white shirts so much i've started wearing makeup a lot more often to work and my makeup of course rubs against the collar of my shirt right y'all i spray this on my shirt i let it sit sometimes i let it sit for a day i wash whites every single time i wash so i kind of wait until they pile up like all my work shirts or like majority of them my white undershirts that i bought the white towels that i have i kind of wait until that all piles up unless i just have to wash my work shirts so I will spray this on here when I take my work shirt off. Y'all, the stain be gone. Gone. Do you hear me? Venito or whatever that girl said, I'm bring it on. Gone. Finished. What stain? Why? Then I spilled seafood boil, oil, butter on a very cute mint dress. I wore it for my birthday. I don't know if I wore it for a vlog, but right in the middle. Just dribble seafood boil oil. I was so sad because that dress is so comfortable and it's such a pretty color for summer. And so before I rebought this, because I had this in a little gel tube, which I'll talk about in a second. Before I bought this, I was like, oh man, maybe I could put like some Dawn on it or something, throw it in the washing machine. And so it made a bigger stain. And I said, oh. <laughs> I'm so sad. Cause like after that first try and it just makes a bigger one, it's like, will this ever go away? Sprayed some of this on it. The color didn't change as far as like the color of the dress in that area. The stain was completely gone. And I'm just so happy. Like, Grandma, I love you, girl. <laughs> I love you. You can get it at Walmart. That's the only place that I've seen it. Maybe you can get it on Amazon. Um, but yeah, Grandma's Secret Spot Remover Laundry Spray is amazing for stain removal. Now, they have it in this, just this by itself. Then they also have it with a little gel bottle attached to it in which i should have bought but i think when i bought this they didn't have any and the next time i went they had it and i was like mm. that's great for traveling i think it comes in like a two ounce bottle maybe it looks like a gel and it's a like a very thin nozzle and you can use that nozzle to scrub at the stain when you put the gel on let it sit for a little bit you can hand wash you can put it in the washing machine what stain like girl girl you did that nana so next up is this antibacterial Tide spray. Target, Walmart, Amazon. This is great for like, you just wanna freshen up your fabrics in the house, like your couch, your bed, your chairs, maybe your bath rugs, your kitchen mats, whatever. I like to spray my luggage down with it every once in a while. I like to spray my uniform with it. It smells like laundry. It's just great, especially for the profession that I'm in because I'm constantly around germs. Like I am in a metal, to that is also a petri dish okay so i love to spray this down because i don't always wash my uniform as far as like being on layovers and stuff like my vest and my pants i'm sorry i have two pairs of pants they're brand new 
and I will switch back and forth, but if it's a three-day trip and I only got two pants, then what? You know what I'm saying? So this is great to freshen up your clothes or any kind of fabric. 99.9% .9 of bacteria is vamooshed with this stuff. Now that 1%, that 1% might get you, just, just spray a little bit more, okay? <laughs> Next up, I believe I put this on an Instagram story. I probably did put it in my last lifestyle haul, but I will talk about it again. It is this Dr. Teal's sleep spray with melatonin and essential oils. At first, I didn't think that it worked. And then when I would spray my bed and I would just get in the bed, I would start yawning. I would like slide deeper and deeper and deeper to the bed. And I'm like, why am I so tired all of a sudden? This is the culprit. This with these sleep gummies, baby, match made in heaven. Sometimes I would even take this on the, what? Sometimes I would even take this on my layovers with me and spray the hotel bed. For example, like when I was doing those red eye flights a lot, especially out in New York, oh baby, this was the jam. Now, if you're not into, I believe it's lavender in here, lavender chamomile, if you're not into that, you might wanna find a different bedding spray because this is very much lavender. It's giving old lady just a schmidgen, but it is very much lavender. I got used to it because it works so well and I don't mind the smell anymore. Oh, their body scrubs, their um, foaming bath wash, their bubble bath, all their stuff. I love their stuff. They're just, oh, the little bath salts. Dr. Till, you did that, okay? So, last but not least in the laundry home, cleaning, whatever kind of category, is this laundry sanitizer. If you don't know about it, where have you been, baby? This was the hottest girl on the block when COVID was at its peak. It is still a staple in my home. It goes in every single load of laundry that I use. I just feel like not only does it sanitize your clothes, yes, but it boosts the scent of whatever you use. Like, I don't know. I don't know if it's because this scent goes well with all laundry scents. I've forgotten this one time and I was like, why well, my laundry kind of like bland? Like, I need that fresh out the dryer shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be walking down the aisle and be like, who just did laundry? Oh no, it's me. I'm just a clean ass girl. <laughs> is great for your clothes it's great for your bedding it's just honestly great for anybody <laughs> just buy it i got it in the chris linen scent i have not tried any other scents i think there may be an unscented one if i'm not mistake mistaken Ooh, girl. mistaken you can get it from target walmart amazon probably has it in bulk i don't have a costco or like bj's car or anything like that or sam's club but i'm pretty sure you should be able to buy this in bulk like this was like the thing to have in 2020-2021. Okay, so I don't really have like a tech category. I have one thing that's in the tech department and, or I guess two, and then I'm gonna kind of lump this with the books that I've been reading. So number one, this three pack, I know there's only one, but this is a charger that came in a three pack. I got it from Fat Kid Deals on Twitter. If you just go to twitter.com slash, I wanna just say Fat Kid Deals, F-A-T-K-I-D-D-E-A-L-S. They have all kinds of links and like coupon codes and they really work. There's no funny business to it. It's amazing. I'm sure they get some kind of whatever commission, I don't know. But their stuff is amazing. I get the snail coochie juice from there. I got these and I was kind of tempted to not buy these because I was like, well, I've been seeing reviews of where they like ruin their your phone or ruin your iPad or whatever that was charging it ruined it. I have not had any issues at all. I have one plugged in my bedroom that stays there. I have one plugged here that stays here. And then this one is my travel one that I keep in my bag. So along with like old cords and stuff like that. But this is like the main thing. This is that boo, like this is that girl. This will charge your phone, number one, fast. Highly recommend. I will link the Fat Kid Deals link below. Anything that's from Amazon link below is an affiliate link, just to let you know. But I will make sure I link their link because I want you guys to get the good discount that I got. I think I got these for $13, y'all. It's not an Apple product, so if you're worried about that, I wouldn't buy it. I haven't had any issues. I've used it to charge. I'm using one to charge my iPad right now, no issues. I use it to charge my phone all the time, no issues at all. The cord, I don't even think this is the right cord, no. This cord is so much longer. Let me show you guys because the Apple iPad is not really working. Anyway, this is the original cord that it came with. I saved the third one. Y'all, look, look. Girl, the cord is so long. Cause I was wondering, I was like, this cord is, seems pretty short, but no. 
This cord is so long. Let me show you the difference in length. This is a regular size cord. Okay, so we're gonna put the two ends together. And I'm gonna show you, like look how much longer the regular cord stops here. Look how much longer show you, this cord is. Buy it. <laughs> Girl, just buy it. Like. <laughs> so next up is this toothbrush that I bought. I bought one for my bedroom. What? <laughs> bought one for my bathroom. I don't brush my teeth in my bedroom. I bought one for my bathroom. It's amazing. I just got the regular one. I didn't know that it came with a stand. It came with a travel case. And so when I bought the secondary one for my travels, it was in a white case. You guys have probably seen it if you've watched my morning routine, let's get back on track video. I left that toothbrush in LA, that same trip. And I was like, dang. And then on top of that, that toothbrush requires you to remove the toothbrush head to put it back in the traveling case. And so I was like, oh man, let me just buy the one that I have in my bathroom now, which is a black one, which is this exact one. I will open it up for you guys because I just opened it today on the vlog. So this one, I was kind of bummed to find out that you still have to remove the head um, from the toothbrush. We put it back in there. So that's kind of annoying because I was like, mm, kind of wanted one that didn't do that. But you know what? It's not that big of a deal. And I really enjoy this toothbrush. So this is how it comes in the travel case. It also comes with eight more heads. Like, you get your money for it, guys. Like, eight more softer sold heads. Oh, and then one of them is like a tiny little, I will just rip it open to show you. One of them is like a tiny, tiny little brush to get all in between the bangs, okay? Sorry, y'all, my hair is attacking me. I don't know why I thought it was a good idea to wear it down for this video. I'm probably gonna have to clip it for the next video I have to film. It also comes with a wall holder. So I'm actually gonna use this one for the one in my bathroom right now. And this will be my travel case. This, my travel brush. This one is a lot smaller as far as the case than my other one that I linked in that video. So I will make sure to link this one below if you want something sleeker. I do believe they come in different colors as well. And then it just comes with the charging cord. One charge lasts for 30 days. I just, out of habit, I've been putting my toothbrush in there back on the charger every once in a while. I don't wait the full 30 days because I'm like, I'm probably gonna forget and when I need to brush my teeth, I don't have to do it manually. And so I just put it like every couple days, I just put it back on the charger. And what I really, really love about it is that it'll brush, it'll vibrate for two minutes straight. So that just kind of reassures that I'm brushing my teeth in the amount of time that it's recommended for you to brush your teeth. And then it pauses every 30 seconds. So what I've been doing is brushing my teeth in quadrants. I'll do upper left, upper right, bottom right, bottom left. Every 30 seconds, I will swap over to the next portion of my mouth. And that has just really helped me, excuse me. <laughs> I have sensitive gums, but I've been using the whitening setting and I haven't had any issues. My gums don't bleed, there's no irritation. So maybe I'll try the sensitive to see how like gentle it is, but the whitening is completely fine for me. Last but not least are these two books that I've been reading. Psycho Cybernetics by Maxwell Maltz and The Seed of the Soul by Gary Zukav. Zukav. These books have been so eye-opening, refreshing for the soul, refreshing for the mind, refreshing for the inner child, especially this bad boy right here. I'm just now kind of getting into this one. This is a more slow read, so it's a little bit more challenging for me because I'm like, hurry up and get to the stuff that's gonna make me wanna close the book and go sit down and think about my life for 30 minutes. Like, <laughs> if you want a book like that, this is the book that you need to read. This book will gather you in so many different ways. I have read a chapter in this book and I set it down for about two months. I did not open this book for two months. I was like, no, they didn't. Girl, and then I had to come back because I always dog ear where I left off and read it again and just be like, I am in a better place now to receive this check, okay? Receive this read, and I'm not talking reading book. This re this book read me for filth, do you hear me? It is, it's a bit challenging, but it is something that you do not read all in one week. It is something that you really should take your time with. Definitely take notes. <sighs> This is something that I could read over and over again. It really helps you to blossom into someone that you have always 
dreamed of being, which is hopefully your best self. This was recommended by a podcaster and tarot reader that I love so much. Her name is Amber Khan, um, Umber Khan, and she was talking about this book in one of her podcasts, and I was just like, girl, I trust you. So I bought it, and I was like, who does this book think they are? Like, <laughs> it really makes you dig deep into your core settings of you know your belief system how you were raised what you believe about yourself what you believe about other people what you believe about other people that believe about you you know what i mean it just goes into so many different things and it really helps you to reset your mind in such a healthy way reset your subconscious challenging way i will say it is not something that you just read in passing or you read like i was trying to read it on the plane and i was like i'm pissed off <laughs> Like, but in the best way possible. If you are interested in any kind of personal development, self-help books, psycho-cybernetics. All right, y'all, so if the angle looks a smidgen different, it is because my camera battery died when I was talking about the books. But like I said, great books. Great, great books as far as personal development and self-help. I do have one more thing in the home section, and I forgot about it because it's like right at my feet. Oh, these Vera Wang blankets. I have two. One of them is on my legs right now. This is the other one. I got them from TJ Maxx. I wanna say 20 bucks each. So soft. Like they are soft as the day that I bought them. I have washed them multiple times. I washed them when I got them and multiple times after that. They're just, oh. I love them so much. They're oversized, okay? Like sometimes because this couch is like the vent is right there and it blows directly onto the couch i love to have a big suggy blanket baby like oh and i've been wanting one the green one that i did purchase way too small like i like oversized blankets okay this thing is huge and for the price point you just can't beat it bear wing you did that and so did you tj maxx <laughs> i'm not paying their wing prices for a blanket i'm sorry but it's amazing i love it it's so soft i tumble dry it i wash it on warm Tumble dry it on low to medium, and they didn't burn. There's no damage. The color has not changed. The texture hasn't changed. They're just, I love them so much. And I fall asleep on this couch a lot, okay? So I needed something super comfy to put on my couch, and I'm glad I bought two. Okay, let's get into some of my favorite items. Let's start with perfume, because now we're transitioning into body care, hair care. This is a hidden gem. This right here, you read that right at the very bottom, Aeropostale. This body mist is a hidden gem. You guys don't understand. First of all, it lasts a minute, okay? For a body mist, usually it's like a good 15 minute scent. No, this will last you, especially sprayed on fabrics. Okay, a whole bunch of very long words, but it is warm. It's warm and fresh at the same time without being too fresh where it's like overpowering the warmth. And it just goes with my body chemicals so well, especially throughout the day. What else can I say about it? It's just so inviting and so just like, mm, I don't know. There's no like scent notes to them or anything or any of that. Um, it's from Aeropostale. It's called Live Love Dream. <laughs> Girl. I don't know how I came across this. I was probably in there for some socks or underwear or something because they have a really great sale. It's like 18 panties for like $40 if that. It's so fresh, but it's soft enough, I think, that you can wear it to work or you can wear it in confined spaces without feeling like you're like overpowering the space with your scent. This is just so good, y'all. And it pairs well with other warm, cozy scents. So if you spray this first, like let's say you spray it on your clothes and then you use a perfume that it's like a warm and cozy or even like a fresh scent, I think that will go really, really good. This will be a really good like base scent for that, for your scent. For the girls that like to mix up, excuse me, for the girls that like to mix up the perfumes like I do, because I don't want nobody smell like me. <laughs> you want my God, what do you have on? A mixture, a concoction, if you will. My secret sauce, that's what it's called, secret sauce, baby. <laughs> yeah, it's, it smells familiar, but it's also very different, isn't it? Yeah. I get so many compliments and people are like, what is that? And I just chuckle because like, oh my God, it smells so, ex is that like a designer? No, it is from Aeropostale Pearl, probably $9. I have three bottles 
on my perfume stand. Next up is a scent that a flight attendant put me on. I went to Paris with him. He was my service leader. He's amazing. Oh, I love him so much. And if you're watching, because I did share that I had a YouTube channel with you, you helped me record some things for my City Pharma vlog. Thank you so much. I won't say names, you know what I'm saying? You know who you are, boo. <laughs> but thank you so much for that. If you are watching, like I said, thank you for supporting me and thank you for putting me on to the Chloe Nomad. Let me tell you, he was wearing this and I was like, you smell rich. Like, what is that? I need to know. I'm sorry, don't be asking people, but like, I need to know. We were already out shopping and he was like, it's, it's this. Y'all, it smells like Okay, I don't, you don't need a lot. And that was one thing that he told me. He was like, do not overspray this because it will immediately be strong. The regular Chloe, I actually, I surprised, I wanted to surprise him and get him a roll on. We were at duty free right before our flight. Um, and I ended up getting him the Chloe one. And then when I went to Sephora, maybe like a couple weeks later, I realized I got him just Chloe instead of Chloe Nomad. So there is a difference. So if you want the Nomad one, I highly recommend you just double check to make sure it says Nomad on the top um, and it says Chloe on the back. As you can see, I don't use it often, but this is like, ugh, baby. I'm going on a date, okay? I'm going on a night out. It's just so rich bitch vibes. Like I, that is the only way I can describe this perfume. I'm not good at describing perfumes. I don't know if y'all can tell, but I highly recommend you at least go and smell this in Sephora. Macy's, wherever you can find it, duty free, um, but just make sure it's the Nomad one. Last but not least, the Summer Hottie. The Summer Hottie in my little miniature perfume collection, Juliet has a gun vanilla vibes. Baby, baby. Now when you first spray this, it's like, oh, where'd the scent go? No, it's there and it stays with you all day long, especially on your skin, y'all. This, oh, I just, it just goes with my scent, my natural scent so well. It just smells so warm and cozy at the end of the day. It is pure vanilla vibes. Like, this is the perfect name for this perfume. Like, and first of all, look how pretty the bottle is, okay? It's gorgeous. It has like a little ombre. It looks like the beach. It smells like something that you would wear to the beach. It is just so summer. It is such a summer scent and I just, oh, I'm obsessed with this scent and I'm probably gonna get another bottle. I wouldn't wear this in the fall because it just, yeah, no. It reminds me of summer. Like this is just something you wear in the summertime. It's not a fall scent for me. It's not a winter scent. It's barely a spring scent. But summer, this is the summer scent of the year for me. I love it. Juliet has a gun, vanilla vibes, 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 go. Get do some maybe if you have another girl like me just go do it pair it with where is she pair it with the live love dream baby match made in heaven okay don't ever say i never told y'all nothing so now that we've kind of entered the body care i'm gonna go straight in with skincare product first things first is this naturium i really hope i'm saying that right niacinamide cleansing jelly phenomenal it gets all my makeup off so easy. I can definitely tell the difference in my skin, especially when I use the niacinamide serum plus zinc. I don't know if I'm overdoing it with using both niacinamide face wash and serum. I haven't broken out. My skin has gotten a lot clearer. I did fall off for a couple weeks, so I was really sick and I just wasn't taking care of myself properly as far as my skincare goes. But now that I'm back on it, I can just see like the life coming back into my skin and I just, Niacinamide is that girl. I think I'm about four to five weeks into using niacinamide for the first time. And I wanna say that I looked it up and it says it takes about six weeks to see results. Correct me if I'm wrong, Estes, please do, because I always love to learn something new and be corrected. Don't ever feel um, hesitant to correct me, boo, because I wanna be right. <laughs> and if you know better than me, tell me, help me. This niacinamide serum is great. And so is this jelly. I got both of them from Target. I'm sure that you can probably get it online um, or on their website. However, I did buy this because girl, girl, the hoops, the hoops, the hair, the hoops, the hair. I just, I just, okay. <laughs> I actually bought this because the 
La Roche Posay niacinamide is a lot smaller. It's a 10% and this one is 12. I don't know if that's a big deal or not, but this one seems to run out a lot quicker even though it isn't a dropper versus this one. Uh, let's see the fluid ounces. They're both one fluid ounce, so I don't know why this one runs out quicker than this one does. I, I don't know. This one is a lot heftier in price. This one, not so much. I usually try to get this one from City Pharma, but when I run out and I don't want to spend $45 on it, I do have this as a backup, and I try to reserve this for my trips, this for at home. The sister, the sister to the serum that I use is the Hyaluronic B5 serum from La Roche Posay as well. I just think their products are so amazing. I've seen so many great changes in my skin as far as moisture. I just, especially with this job, you have to find a good moisturizer, a good skincare regimen, because baby, I'm not trying to look like no alligator dry senior mama in like 10 years. I'm sorry, I'm not. <laughs> no ma'am, no sir ma'am, absolutely not. Next up is this Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. I'm holding it like this because the gold lettering has completely disappeared on it, but if you can kind of see the lettering, it's there. The bottle is so tiny because this was a $20 bottle. I got it from Duty Free, tax free in Paris. Phenomenal product, okay? I just can't grasp spending $80 on a serum. I'm not there yet. It is all gone, but I saved the bottle specifically for this video. To let you guys know if you do have that kind of money to spend on skincare, I highly, 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 highly recommend this skincare oil. It is amazing. I was putting it on every single night after the Bioderma uh, Night Repair Cream, which is also in my skincare City Pharma haul. These two together, baby. I was waking up with supple, soft, moisturized, just glowy skin every single morning after I use this stuff. And I'm just like, and y'all on. This is from Bioderma Estee Lauder, okay? Go get y'all some. I got this in Paris. I'm pretty sure they sell it on the site. I'm pretty sure you can buy it from citypharma.com. You just kinda have to shop around, but it's there. It is the Pigment Bio Night Renewer, night moisturizer cream stuff. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> okay, and last but not least with the face care, Skincare, I should say. Faded Topicals. Topicals Faded, okay? I was thinking that their name was Faded. Their name is Topicals. Don't judge me. Amazing product. Amazing product. I stopped using it for about a month and a half because I wanted to see what was fading my dark marks more. Was it the Effaclar, um, I think it's like a duo serum or stuff like that for dark marks, I think it's from La Roche Posay, I think so. Or was it the topicals faded? Baby, it was her. Her. She. She's that girl. She is that girl. Make sure I'm doing her justice. She's that girl. She's almost gone, okay? She's that girl. Just go by. If you have any dark spots, especially like when I wear my hair down too much, the oils for my hair would be all on my back, and sometimes I would get um, acne on my back. And then of course it would turn a dark brown because that's just how all the acne works on my body. So this has helped me so much, especially down here. My face broke out again when I was sick and it got really bad. So I'm kind of starting from square one and getting those dark marks um, lighter and lighter as we go. It does take patience. Y'all know how this goes when it comes to hyperpigmentation, okay? I live in Vegas where it's 120 degrees on any given day in the summer. So with that being said, these two sunscreens for my face have been such a game changer, okay? Black girl friendly. This one is very liquidy. I don't know if you guys have watched my vlog that I used this in. Don't be fooled by the look of it, okay? Don't be fooled. When it comes out, it looks very um, chalky. It's very thin. But when you rub it and just put it on, I think after the third stroke, it was completely here. I said, oh. Okay. It is SPF 50, perfect for Vegas, perfect for any kind of city that gets in the triple digits or lots and lots and lots of sun. But 
please get you a proper SPF for your face, okay? If you don't want to spend this much, I would definitely, 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 this is always a good choice. Always, always, I call it my clear velvet. It is Trader Joe's sunscreen, which is also, it is 40, it is oil free, it's fragrance free, swatter, swatter. Water and sweat resistant for up to 40 minutes. It's amazing. And even when I do sweat with this, cause it's hot, I know Vegas is a dry heat, but after a while coming in and out from the AC and stuff like that, you do start to sweat. Don't let these folk lie to you, okay? This is clear velvet. Like it is just completely clear. I love it because it's also 1.7 fluid ounces. So for my girlies that are not aviation professionals, you can definitely have this in your carry-on. Nobody will take it from you, girl. Just have it and just make sure you guys are reapplying your sunscreen throughout the day. I have yet to find a spray sunscreen for when I'm wearing makeup and I can't rub this on my face. Um, if you have any recommendations as far as spray sunscreens for your face, let me know. I know Black Girl Sunscreen makes one. I think I saw it one time, but I already have so much of this, I was kind of like, mm. And at that time, I wasn't really wear wearing makeup as much as I am now. So maybe I'll try that one. But if y'all have any other recommendations, especially from Sephora, so I can get my points, please leave it in the comments below. But please get y'all some sunscreen. Please wear your sunscreen. And not only wear it when you leave the house, Put it in your bag. That's why another reason why I love these two because number one, this one is flat. It goes straight into my pocket, straight into my bag, purse, whatever I'm carrying. This one is also very small, sleek, and it's just it's just perfect for out and about. Okay, wear your hats, wear your sunglasses for my LASIK girlies. You know what I'm saying? Just take care of yourselves. It's getting hotter and hotter during these summer months, and it's trickling into like. September, October last year, it was hot all the way through. I'm like, why is it still hot outside? I should be seeing snowmen and Jack Frost and shit. <laughs> all right, next up is this Coco Radiant Gel, body gel, body oil from Vaseline. Girl, am I late to the game? Is that what that is? Am I just late to the game? Does everybody know about this? If you don't, go get it. Okay, if you're a coconut girl, if you're a shea butter mommy, coconut butter, cocoa butter, shea butter, almond oil butter, anything kind of butter butter, get it. Use it sparingly. I wouldn't use it at the bottom of your feet unless you put on socks and walk around the house because baby, I, I oiled up, lathered up and everything after my shower. I went to take a walk across my floor, almost busted my ass. <laughs> So happy I live alone. Like almost busted my I would have never lived that down if anybody was here. It was so bad. It was one of those like slow slips. It was just embarrassing. Love this stuff though. It is so soothing to the skin. It is so nourishing, y'all. I gotta show you. With just this much, okay, just that much. Baby, you want to talk about a summer glow? You want to talk about, uh, uh, oh my gosh, she's moisturized. Yeah, I am. Look at that. Look at that. Oof. Don't mind my pajama pants, baby. We're professional from the waist up. Girl. And it doesn't leave your skin sticky. That is what I really, really liked about this. I saw people raving about it. It took me three Walmarts to find it. I bought two bottles. It smells so good. It's great with perfumes, especially because like it's also like a, a little bit of an oil. So if you spray perfume on it, I've noticed that my perfume lasts a little bit longer in that area. It is just, ugh. And it's not that weird like artificial coconut butter smell or cocoa butter smell or whatever. It's not like that. It just smells so good and it's so moisturizing on your skin and you're just so soft, especially after like a, oh I just spit, ew. Especially after like a bath or just like after my Flamingo that I use, a deep nourishing cream. Girl, you can't tell me nothing. I am soft, I am delectable, I am shuffle. Like, go get it. And it's not even that expensive at all. I think it's like maybe seven dollars, maybe. Last but not least, as far as like skincare products, Glow Getter Multi Oil Body Wash. I know y'all been seeing it. Look how much is left. I have three more bottles in my bathroom. I know y'all been seeing it on TikTok. I know all the influencers have been talking about it for good reason. Camera is about to cut off. One second. They're talking about it for a reason, okay? 
buy it. I wouldn't say there's no scent at all, but you know the, the scent of bubbles? It's like a faint bubble scent, but it doesn't like go onto your body. Like you don't, after you use this, excuse me, your skin is so soft, but you don't smell like this, if that makes sense, which I love because I have so many different scented products in my bathroom. I don't need another one, honestly. It just, it's so nourishing. So this, the Flamingo, I'm gonna act like it's in my hand. It's all gone now, I have to order some more. But this, the Flamingo Deep Nourishing Cream, and then this oil combo? You wanna talk about a three-piece, a three-piece combo. Please, please. So before we get into the last category, which is like hair stuff, I do wanna talk about these Gucci wipes. It is summertime, things get hot, things get sweaty, things get sticky get you some they're fragrance free are they flushable they are not flushable don't flush them don't don't be like me when it comes to vaginal products the best thing that I can say is nothing has changed unless I started with the problem right but if I haven't started with the problem and I just need a little freshening up and this is doesn't cause irritation, doesn't have a change in my chemistry down there. You know what I'm saying? I haven't seen any issues, smelled any issues. If that is the case, when it comes to vaginal products, like I said, if I haven't started with a problem, they're golden. I love these for the summertime. I just throw them in my bag, especially for work. I like to use these in the labs instead of using the toilet tissue or the tissue paper or, I don't even want to, I don't even want to be in that lab, okay? Let alone use anything in that lab to wipe my coochie with. I will use these. <laughs> I use them when I one, when I two, when I whatever, whatever, okay? They're just good to have. Um, if you are someone that uses wipes for anything down there, I would highly, highly recommend these. They are scent free, they're synthetic free, no alcohol, no dyes, no latex. And I also use their, um, their pad brand. They're all organic cotton. They donate to women in need. Allegedly, I'm not there when they do it, but that's what they say they do. I think they're a great brand. It's called L Brand. And like I said, I also use their foaming uh, daily wash. They have a period care and they have a daily wash. I've tried both. To me, they're both the same. Sor, sor beating carbon gras, castor oil, disodium EDA. Listen. <laughs> I haven't had any irritation and I'm very sensitive. I got a very uppity, sensitive, very, very like, don't talk to me, don't touch me, don't look at me kind of cooch, okay? She is like, anything will offset anything down there. Like changing underwear, fabric, that's why I, all ha that's why I only have cotton thongs. Like, <laughs> we just, I learned the hard way. We just, we just gonna keep it real simple down there. No extra soaps, no nothing, no lubricants, no certain condoms I can't use. It's just one of those coochies, okay? And if you got one, you know what I'm talking about. It's like a lot of people are also um, sensitive to like tissue paper, right? Cause they're like dry wiping and they can't really do that because the skin is irritated. Wipes. All right, so now that the coochie talk is over, <laughs> we can get into hair care. I talked about this in my hair video. I don't know what's going up first. Girl, who knows? But this flat iron has been tried and true in this house. This is the second one that I have. I think I gave my first one to my mom because it was so phenomenal. This is the second one. It is the Infinity Pro by Conair. Perfect, it goes up to 455 degrees. I do believe it has a safety shut off after a certain amount of time because I have been doing my hair and I've been taking extra time. I've been texting, you know what I'm saying, eating. I forget that it's plugged in and it shuts itself off, which is great, okay? We love a flat iron that shuts itself off. All flat irons should shut themselves off after a certain time. Like that just needs to be a thing, okay? We're women, we do it, we leave it plugged in by accident, we forget to turn stuff off. Go get you one. I think this one is the one and a half inch, if I'm not mistaken. I also have the same kind in the smaller half inch for like tight curls or for my edges or just for my roots. Love them both. They're both so amazing. Like such a good quality flat iron on a budget. You don't have to get a chi. You don't have to get a babeless. Is it called babeless? Baby, this baby girl. Whatever. So maybe I'll do the hair video first so you guys can see. This is my hair straight and still day two. I had it in a clip and I just kind of went over it because it was pretty wavy. Went over it a little bit and bam, we're back. 
bone straight boo a little bit of bump so next up is a hair pod that i use when my hair is not straight it is the honey curls by miss jessie's yes by miss jessie's it smells so freaking good it is so moisturizing i love to use this with like a slick back bun i usually only use it at home because it is a bigger tube and sometimes i'm scared that this will pop open in my bag but baby it smells so good and i like to savor it <laughs> i really do my hair texture is not one that i can do a wash and go with you can see that my hair is just not wash and go type of hair it's not but this honey curl smells so good it's so moisturizing it keeps my hair so soft and it doesn't interfere with the um, eco gel that i use because i know sometimes hair products like this can when you pair it with the eco gel or any kind of hair gel or any kind of edge control it gets all how should I say um, clumpy not really clumpy but just like thick and, and a lot of times it'll turn white on you especially like out in the Sun or like even if it's like really cold outside in the winter times like it'll turn white and flaky and weird this doesn't do that yes this doesn't do that it is just so great I think I got it from Target as well but yeah I know that they have a full line of products all different kind of stuff that smells great this was recommended to me by my mom's friend, Faithy. Hi, Faithy. If you're watching, love you. You're a genius. And this is amazing. And your hair, beautiful, by the way. Love it. Gorgeous head of hair. Especially for people with mixed textures like me. It was just great to have this nourishing because in the back and like underneath, all that hair underneath that doesn't get brushed regularly, like the ones on top, it's just very great to keep, um, keep your hair moisturized in that way. So. Honey curls, you got my heart. Next up is this hair mask. I do have another hair mask that I want to talk about. Unfortunately, I threw it away already after my hair video because it was completely empty. But is I'll start with that one, I guess, first. It is the Native um, Coconut and Almond, I think. It's in the, I'll put it here if I can find it online. It is, oh, I use it purely for the way it makes my hair feel in the scent. I guess that's the best way to use it. That's the best reason to use it for, I guess. But it just smells so good. I love when my hair smells like that. Like that scent for my hair. Oh, it smells good. I do wish that it came in a jar, like the Niel one, which I'll get to in a minute. But it's okay, it comes in the tube. I think to rate the different masks, this would be number one, the Native and then the Miel. Um, this is Camille Rose Algae Renew. Is that how you say it? Algae? Algae. Gross. Algae Renew Deep Conditioning Mask, Cocoa and Mango Butter. I use this in my Denver vlog, okay? I want to say it's my Denver vlog. I have never forgotten how soft my hair was after this. I even bought their leave-in conditioner. My hair is not really good with leave-in conditioner. I don't even know why I bought it, but I just like the scent and I thought that it would do the same if I would like rinse it out. It didn't. This is amazing, the deep conditioning mask. And I love how it comes in a packet because it's so a packet because it's so easy to just throw in my suitcase if it's one of those layovers where I need to dip, deep condition my hair. Oh, and it just smells amazing. And my hair is just so soft and moisturized when I get out of the shower. I was just in awe. And I don't know why I'm not stocked up on these. I only have two right now. Maybe I'm not trying to be greedy. I don't know. But then the next one that I like is the Miel Rosemary Mint Strengthening Hair Mask. It is infused with biotin and it encourages growth that's what it says on the bottle i do have the shampoo in this and i also have the hair oil which i love so which i love so dearly like it's just it's so good for your hair you can you can feel like the mint on your scalp it's just so cooling like oh i love it and i love the fact that it, girl i love the fact that it comes in a jar like oh that is like it's just, it's a little bit more secure for me. And if it does expand, it's not going to pop open, which I appreciate, especially when I take it on the road with me. Last but not least in the hair department, the last item of this whole video is the Garnier Fruity Sleek and Shine. Um, I've been using this for years. I am so happy that they haven't discontinued this product. I think I started using this like a couple years after I started flat ironing my hair on my own and doing my own hair. I discovered this probably at a friend's house and it smells so good. It gets rid of that flat iron smell, especially if you use your flat iron on the highest setting. You guys know that kind of burnt hair smell. I hate that smell. I really, really despise that smell. Like, especially when your hair looks good, like you don't want your hair to smell like flat iron. Especially if you start sweating, it's going 
you're gonna smell it, you know what I'm saying? So this is great for first day. Me personally, I don't use it after the first day because my hair starts to make its own natural oils and so I don't need any kind of extra oil because it'll get very oily and like way down and just ugh. And it will ruin my flat iron. I'm not gonna say silk press. It will <laughs> ruin my flat iron look, you know what I'm saying? It's supposed to last for at least at like a week and a half at least. It makes my hair so shiny, so soft. It makes it smell really good. It captures the scent. It doesn't just lay on top like flat iron and this doesn't really have a scent name, but it doesn't smell like this in flat iron or pear. No, it smells so good. I put it on my ends, I put it um, here as you've seen in my hair video, or if you haven't, like I said, I don't know which one is going up first, but I love it so, 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 so much. And then just a little extra bit of information, I will sometimes put um, jojoba oil or um, black castor oil on my ends when they're really rough. I trimmed my hair a couple weeks ago, and I probably should do it again. But um, when they're really, really rough, I will put a little bit of jojoba oil or um, black castor oil, either one, whichever I pick up. Put it in my hands and just kind of go like this to my ends all the way around and wrap my hair, and that usually does the trick. They're nice, smooth, and put together in the morning. So with that all being said, everything, I will try to link everything down below, or I don't know. That description box is on long like and if anything is on Amazon it will be an affiliate link except for those chargers like I said because I want you guys to get the best deal possible um, if you are looking for iPhone chargers but other than that oh, this is the end of this video thank you all so much for watching if you like this kind of video or you like this kind of content please let me know by liking it leaving a comment telling me you want more or if you have any questions about the products if I failed to mention something like where I got it from or any kind of effects or like why about anything like that please just let me know if you have any favorite products that you usually use anything similar to this or anything completely opposite that you think that I might like please let me know talk to me talk to me talk to you girl and I will catch you guys uh, the famous YouTube saying I will catch you guys in my next video bye I could never write my wrongs unless I write it down for real